Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing great. In this short R tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a new column with a lookup table, which is the same as the VLOOKUP function in Excel. First of all, we are just going to create a small data frame with three columns. So we have IDs, we have names, and we also have scores. And when we then combine them with the data frame function to a data frame DF, then we see here we have three columns and five rows with names, IDs and scores. Second, we just create a lookup table with the names, the age, and then we combine it as above to a lookup table. And then we have here our second table with the name. We already had that above in the first table and the age, which we don't have above. And we actually want to look up the age within this lookup table to use it up here as a separate column. For that we have several options. The first option uses the merge function. We can just create our new table by using merge our data frame df. Then we just use the lookup table and then we need to define a key which is in both data frames. And in our example this is name. When we run that and look at our vlookup table then we see here we added the age for all the five participants. The second option also uses the merge function and we can actually use that option when the keys have different labels within our data frame and the lookup table. We use our data frame, then the lookup table, and we define here the label of the key within our data frame df, and we define here the name of the column within the lookup table. And then we also use all x equals true, and when we run that, and look at our VLOOKUP table 2. Then you also see here we added the age which was just similar as above and then we have a third option which would be the function join and for that we need to install the package plier. So I already installed that and then we use library plier to load it and the third option is similar as above just with the join function, first data frame, lookup table and our key. And when we run that you you see here the same result as above with also the column age in our data frame. If this video helped, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot and see you next time.